Hey guys, welcome to another uh, show. Uh, I'm Budo Jake here with my friend Malachi. Thanks for coming in, Malachi. Great to meet you. Uh, we've had a long uh, conversations over yeah. social media, but uh, it's the first time to be on the mats with you. And I know you have a lot of knowledge, a lot of jiu-jitsu knowledge, so thanks again for coming in today. That was awesome. If you don't know Malachi, he has three instructional DVDs out. Uh, one of them is on the flower sweep, so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we jump too much into it, give me a little bit, bit of background. Uh, who'd you train with? Where's your school? Uh, so my school's in Charleston, South Carolina. It's HT Low Country. Um, and I trained under Ricardo Loporio. So basically that's my that's my guy. Um, and his innovations and his stuff he used to have something called a lab. And uh, that's what I try to do with my students now is that he uh, would like give, give him something new and he just takes it apart and like, fix it. And I mean, that's where he got a lot of my stuff. I got when I created the Darsh Killer or stuff like that, he helped me kind of create it and was like, no, nope, that's not going to work. And so I, I really do that with my students. And uh, it's, yeah, Ricardo Laborio, he's been my, you know, my, my, my guy. Yeah, most people that have been around for a while know Ricardo has one of the best reputations in the sport of being like, very knowledgeable you know, about jiu-jitsu. So, yeah. If he doesn't know it, he'll stop it anyways. That's the crazy part. Right? You know, like he, when Bear Bowl was coming around, he's like, like okay, Bear Bowl, and he just like, stops it. He's like, what are you doing? So yeah, that's, just, that's the mechanic. And that's what made me in love with the mechanics and stuff like that. That's cool. So, flower sweep. Yeah. What's wrong with the way most people are doing it? So, um, so they're using it as just the sweep itself. Um, the flower sweep itself is more like a guard in an extent. If you get the person's hips moving, now you're gonna to start to attack. So a lot of people are thinking like, well, I got shut down here. Um, so what my flower DVD does and what, what, how I teach it is that, of course, people are gonna stop it. Um, this is a basic sweep. I think you can catch anybody in a flower sweep if they're not paying attention, if they're tired, last three minutes in a match, man, you can hit it against any black belt in the world. If you're right, if you do it right, um, but if you, if you hit it and they block it, people aren't doing the correct grip, in my opinion. You know, so I'm making, I can't say they're not making the correct grip. What I can say is that I think there's a better grip um, that sets up a lot of other activities, a lot of other things that we can do with the, with the flower screen. Cool. Can we take a look? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so I'll spin this way. Let me get it in the camera. So, of course, what we want to do is we want to make a grip on the sleeve. Um, and then the second thing I want to do is I want to give myself some space. Uh, Jake has an amazing pair of pants. So what he does here is he's, he's really tight. So I'm going to take a little bit of pressure off and give myself a good handful of this. Now, you'll hit a lot of guys that will know what's going on. They'll strip this grip. So don't worry. It'll hurt your hands. But as long as you keep doing jiu-jitsu, it will stop. Um, and so what I'm going to do is that so the, the traditional flower sleeve is that I post my leg behind his heel, right? And I'm going to move him forward with my leg. I'm guiding him. And then I'm going to make this into an up grip and I'm gonna punch. And I'm gonna come on top, all right? So that's the, that's the flower suit. That's if everything works out perfect and we're in the flower suit. But what I'm doing with my grip allows me to do a lot of things if he post this arm, right? So I make my grip, I put my foot on the ground, I bring him over and he posts. Now I turn my palm up and I'm doing this. I'm creating a platform. Once I create this platform, go ahead and put your knee back down. Yeah, he's not going to put it back down. So I can attack a lot of other things. I have the arm bar here. Let me scoop in. I think this is pretty well known, right? But there's a lot of other things I can do too. So what I'm doing is I'm setting myself for getting inside of his guard. His hips are up. He, if you drop this arm, yeah, he's gonna fall, right? So he, he has to keep this arm up if I'm keeping this leg up. So when we start doing stuff like that, when we start doing stuff like that, we have unlimited attacks and reattacks. And so once I get you moving that way, and you bid on that, and I create that structure, we can really start to get into like a whole number of attacks, yeah. wherever your game's gonna go. So if you're looking for a submission, you're looking for points for a sweep, it's all there. So we're gonna go over a fun one. Okay. Let's do the broad plot. All right. So I move them forward, right? I make my grip, put my foot on the ground, he posts. Now, I wanna to get to this arm here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to let go, but see how I'm opening up my arm right here? I'm going to jump my hips inside, 
and hit it. Mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So I'm here. Keep the pose. Now I'm going to hit the broad pot by jumping this over, punching this through, and turning myself inside. That's a cool setup. All right. So if I had this arm available, I have a lot of other things too. Once I move here, right, I can now start to work my way into triangles. I can work my way into uh, inverted arm bars. I can also work myself into getting inside the X. So once I put this inside, I'm now inside the guard, right? This is where I really thrive. Because I have this hand, right? And I have a single leg X right here. And I have this foot right behind. So all I'm going to do is extend, right, come up, and finish my sweep. And if they start to really start to block things, or take things apart, that's where we can really start to really attack this position. So I'm here, moving forward, he's got gray pants. Whatever, whatever he's, he's wearing, he's doing a good job of. Yeah, so we're here, I make my step, he makes that post, right, and I want to go Okay, let's say I'm looking for uh, another, another part here. I'm gonna go inside, right here, right? And see how he has the post. I'm, I'm actually letting him not fall right now, right? So, because I'm, I'm, I'm greedy for highlights right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside, put the leg on top. Now I'm gonna put my other foot inside, right? Move around a little bit here. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty well here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let go, put the foot up, slide my knee inside, sit up, put the foot right inside of my stomach. And now we're looking at the tamil lock, right? Which is an esteema variation. I'm gonna fall to the side and be very gentle there without really attacking it. Yeah, it cause a lot of damage yeah. real quick. Yeah. Um, any other things, we can go over some lapel stuff and... Well, let's just rehash that, yeah. that first grip after you've off balance, but keeping your elbow underneath your wrist, that's yes. just huge. Because I see yeah. a lot of guys try the sweep and then they'll just go back to neutral. Yeah. So that, that's a key detail. Yeah. It, having your opponent's hips up yeah. is probably one of the things you, you want to be... The, like, once your opponent's hips are up, entering inside, they're, they're now, their whole base is negated. Yeah. You know, so now we can really start to work. Yeah, because you see a lot of people, especially beginners, they're like, I want to do a flower sweep. And they try it, and they're like, oh, it didn't work. Now, now what else am I going to do? But it right. did work. You got to yeah. that position where he's off balance, and you just yeah. showed a ton of variations from yes. it. So that's a really key to understand that you don't have to go to 100. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's just see that one more time. Sure. Just the off balance with that. Uh, yeah, so one of the most important things to so now I can grips. Mm -hmm. I don't have to dig too much for it. So now I go here and I turn. So again the key point is right over here. Look how his wrist is above his elbow. Uh, maybe if you do it wrong, Maliki, I mm -hmm. your elbow forward, yeah. push forward. See over here, maybe the camera on this side would get a better view. So here I'm able to put my knee back on the ground. But what mm -hmm. Maliki did is raising his wrist all the way above his elbow. I'm just mm -hmm. floating here. Yeah, now we're starting to look at some attacks. There's a number of things. I'm a counter puncher. And so, I'm, so a lot of these times that I'm looking for stuff, I'm waiting on my opponent's reaction. And I think a lot of people in Jiu Jitsu are t looking for what's next, what's the next, what's the next. Because we drill it like that. Yeah. And really when you should drill this, you should go, okay, what, what are you gonna do? And it's like, okay, so he's doing this. That's where that looks like this. Mm -hmm. Right now he gave me the space yeah. for the broad aquatic. It's like me going right to the broad aquatic, a little bit more difficult because why? He's got his hand there. Yeah. But the moment he starts raising up, he's like, I can follow you. Yeah. So it's like, don't, with this kind of attack here, with this kind of flower sweep attack we're looking at, right? It's, it's like, don't rush. Yeah. It's like you're here. Yeah, can you get the armbar? Go for the armbar right away if you want to get that. Can you get into X? Yes. But a lot of times your opponent's going to tell you what the correct next step is. That's why watching the DVD and having other options. So I, I'm here, I'm like, okay, what you gonna do? And it's like, good. It's like, all right. Now we're gonna get to the <laughs> highs and guard. Yeah, that's awesome. That's another DVD. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. 
We you always wait for your opponent, like, so some, it's not always you. Yeah. Um, you're the initial starter, yeah. but a lot of time your opponent has to give you enough rope to hang them. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I have that conversation with people a lot. And lower belts don't usually get it because they don't have enough experience, right. but after a while you realize that you don't have to be so aggressive. Just wait and see what they yeah. can do. You kill a hook, wait. And then when they make, them, they make that next step, that's your pass. Right. It's like, it can't be this, then the pass. It has to be one, then the other. Right. You know? There's those intermediary positions. Where yeah, you're exactly. Awesome. Uh, once again, guys, so take a look at the Flower, uh, Flower, Guards, Flower Power DVD that Malachi produced. It's available on BuddhaVideos.com. And uh, check out Malachi's other two videos. Uh, one's going to be on the Darst Killer. And the other one is on the Heisenguard. YouTube videos uh, where we're going to talk just like we did on this one coming up as well. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you most.